Hey guys, Abs here. Welcome to a demonstration of keyword genetics. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you exactly how you can work with the software, how to set the software up, and exactly what you can expect. So as you can see, I've already got the keyword genetics software opened up in front of me. Um, you will need to register the software first of all, and to find out how to register the software, guys, then the software does actually come with a user guide, um, and it actually shows you an illustrated version of how to get it done. It is very simple, very straightforward. You just need to double click on the keyword genetics dot exe application and then enter your login details that should have already been emailed to you okay so the first thing i'm going to do guys when you have got keyword genetics open is to go go over to the settings tab and if you find that the keyword genetics settings tab has no ignore has no um, words inside of the ignore list column guys then what you need to do here is click on restore default list and what this will do this will enter about i think there's about 600 words in here guys and these are words that that can't be grouped semantically to any kind of yeah look, there's like 652 words in here um, these are actual words that can't be semantically grouped to any one theme um, so as a result we ignore these and the software will ignore them and the results that we actually get back from the websites turn out to be real cool semantically related words to our main keywords um, again a number of these keywords you, a number of these words you can remove you can take out if you didn't want them in there if you want to add your own keywords in here as well so say for example you find that the software is picking up loads of stars or you find out the software is picking up loads of um, numbers and you don't want numbers in there then you can continue to enter them in there as well after you've made the changes guys don't forget to click on save um, now again just to explain what this is guys the this is an ignore list so let's say for example um, the top 10 sites on say if you're performing an analysis for acne treatment and the top 10 sites on Google um, has a number of these words on here like won't worst would wouldn't these are the kind of keywords that the software is not going to be focusing on and it's not going to be pulling these keywords back because these are non semantically related keywords something that we want to ignore we want to look between the lines and we want to find out exactly what our keyword theme is and that's exactly what the software will get for you as long as your ignore list is nice and um, suitable to actually get them hidden well get them kind of keywords okay so let's move on to the top guys um number of, of lsi keywords i believe standard versions uh, um, allow up to 20 lsi keywords and um, um professional versions allow up to 100. um now this area here i'm going to leave this as 10 10 is normally totally fine guys um okay so show phrases that are not that are noted on more than x sites so let's say for example um you search for acne treatment um and you tell the software now okay out of the 10 pages only show me data and only show me words that are noted on at least five of them sites now if you do this guys then if if there's words that are noted on four sites and not the other six sites, then the software is not going to pull them words back for you. And the same here as well, guys. Remove all words, keywords that are less that are noted less than X times. So say, for example, um, the word acne was only noted 10 times, sorry, seven times, and you had this on eight, then the software wouldn't bring it back because it isn't noted enough for it to bring it back. Again, guys, we will need your Google email address and your Google password to be entered inside of here. Um, and this area is only used for the LSI discovery field, guys, but not for the SERP analysis. Now, the SERP analysis is very simple, very straightforward to work with. Again, guys, um, a, a little bit of advice about these areas here. Um, as long as your ignore list is fantastic, real nice, and obviously it's going to grow with you, with the more that you work with the software, the more that your ignore list is going to grow as well. One piece of advice as well, guys, is always back up your ignore list. If we send out an update to the software and the software updates, it can affect your settings. Um, you've got a settings file here, XML file. If it does get affected, guys, then you could see your ignore list get wiped. Now, it'll be very simple for you to restore the default list. But if you've been adding your own words inside of here as well, then they could get wiped. And that's something that we don't want. We want to avoid that. So every now and again, guys, come along and back up your ignore list of words. OK, so um, my main point here is as long as your ignore list of words is real cool, real sophisticated, then you can actually keep this down noted on one um, and keep this down low as well, because, you know, the words that the software is going to bring back are going to be very semantically related. OK, so um, I don't think I need to give you a demonstration of exactly how this works. It's very straightforward, very easy. So I'll do acne treatment again, guys. 
um, and I'll click on start. What the software does, it actually goes over to Google first of all, it will search for the keyword, whatever you've entered in here. So for example, I want to rank for acne treatment and I don't know a lot about acne treatment guys. So I'll enter it inside of this software. The software is now gonna go ahead, <clears throat> scrape the top 10 listings from Google. It will then visit each and every single one of them top 10 sites. It will check the text and it will cross -ref reference that text with other websites or that are ranking on the first top 10 pages sorry, that are ranking um, on the top 10 positions. Um, and then it will bring back details for us. So as you can see here, guys, we've got an apostrophe here. I'm gonna click, let this finish, and then I'm gonna put this to that ignore list. If I go over to the ignore list, show you the very bottom, we've got zero um, at the bottom there. Um, we'll just wait until this finishes. Once that's finished, then I can actually go ahead and add that to the ignore list. Okay, so there you go. So I'm gonna click on add to ignore list. As you can see, it hasn't been removed. If I go over to settings though, you can see there, it's already been added there. If I wanted to remove that as well, guys, I can just remove that from the display as well. If I don't want one in there, I can put one to the ignore list as well. As you can see, one's been entered inside of there as well. So the next time the software runs, it's not gonna be bringing back them kind of keywords. Okay, so this is how it works, guys. You can you can sort it. The um, Towards the top is gonna be the best. Um, sorry, are gonna be keywords that I use the most. Now again, guys, um, really depending on what your settings are in here, as you can see, I've said this here, noted only once and noted on four sites. Sometimes what I'll do, I'd actually um, put this up high. So it has to be noted on at least six sites and it needs to be noted at least five times or six times. Of course, you're gonna get fewer key phrases. So as you can see, we've got 507 there. I'll actually just run that again while I'm talking. Um, and but they will give you much more precise keywords as well, which is absolutely fantastic, exactly what we need. Okay, so coming over to the LSI keyword field, guys, very very simple, very straightforward. All you need to remember is that the keywords you put in here to get LSI keywords, they're gonna be keywords in sets. So you need to put one keyword per line. Um, so if you put in, say, three keywords in here, don't expect the software to go and get you LSI keywords for every single one of them keywords. Instead, the software is gonna group them keywords and try to find you LSI keywords Words based on that group that you've actually entered. Now, if that group doesn't belong together, guys, then the software might not pull back any keywords for you whatsoever. Okay, we're still on six of 10 here, guys. As you can see, it's taking much longer. But what you'll see now is we're gonna have a much more solid um, and precise list. Okay, so we only got 139 phrases this time, but as you can see, we've got much better results. So I'm gonna add, actually add that to the ignore list. I don't want the numbers in here as well. So I'll go down here, add these to the ignore list, whatever I wanna add to the ignore list. And the rest of them, guys, um, what you'll notice is they're really targeted keywords. So we've got things like acne, skin, health, treatment, um, treatments, healthy problems, symptoms, you know, um, sign, cancer, return, um, pregnancy tips, treat, severe, medication, medical, hair. So we've got so many keywords and this is the actual theme of acne treatment. So when wanting to rank for acne treatment, guys, um, then you, it isn't enough to just enter acne treatment here, acne treatment there, acne treatment all over your site. What you need to do is write in a natural manner. And the way you write in a natural manner, guys, is by including things like acne, including things like skin, including things like treatment, including things like health, including things like problems and its symptoms and, you know, everything that's related to acne treatment. And this is exactly what you find here. LSI Discovery, I've already explained how to use this, guys. Very simple, very straightforward, and I'm sure that the video, uh, sorry, I'm sure that the video, sorry, yeah, that we had on the demo page of um, the actual software should show you how to do it. Um, but the way you do it, guys, is the demo that I actually showed you was chocolate and white chocolate, and then all you do is choose exactly what you want, whether you want to get LSI keywords, whether you wanna get suggestions based on these two, or you wanna get a full analysis. Now, again, our professional versions can go deeper in the deeper levels. So say, for example, you wanted to get LSI keywords, sorry, say, for example, you wanted to get um, suggestions for these, it would go and get suggestions for these, and then the next level would go and get suggestions for the other suggestions, and deeper levels would go and get suggestions for them levels as well. Um, so it's very sophisticated, much more um, control on here, and it provides you with many more keywords as well. You can choose your Google location, guys, very simple, very straightforward to do. Just choose whatever location that you want. When working with proxies, again, this is for professional users, um, you have to import your proxy list. 
Okay, and um, the way you'd enter your proxies, um, I've actually noted it down here in the user guide. So once you see the user guide, guys, you should have um, a full understanding of exactly how you can enter proxies and work with it as well. Okay, so um, coming back over to um, the analysis area, guys, um, one area that our professional versions of um, users can work with is an area by and adding your own URLs in here and getting a, a report based on that. Um, so it's very simple. So I'll give you an example now. Okay, um, many of you might not know, we actually own a website called SociSind. SociSind is in direct competition with services like OnlyWire and SocialAdder and TriPro and... Um, Sind and, and other social media service providers. Um, of course, we're much better, we're much cheaper, um, and we've got some fantastic reviews, and obviously you're gonna get our support as well. Okay, so I've entered in URLs here, guys. Um, what you might notice here is, let me just explain exactly what's going on. As you can see, we've got zero phrases found. Now, the reason we've got zero phrases found is because I've got one, two, three, four, five websites. In the settings, I've told the software, oh, you know what? I don't want you to return anything that isn't noted on at least six websites and what's noted at least six times. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put this down to zero, uh, one, one. Um, that's what I wanna do, and I'm gonna click on start. And now what this is gonna do, this is gonna pull back our keywords that we want. So we've got 1,909 words found on here. We've got things like friends, profiles, social, um, media, networks, um, document, I don't know, visitors, promote. And this is all about social media. And then obviously we've got our two keyword phrases such as social media. Um, let's have a look. Some of them are gibberish, search engine, sewing machine, engine rankings, unique social media marketing, social networks. We've got three keyword phrases as well. Um, search engine ranking, social media marketing, social media accounts, unique social media. Um, and we've also got four keyword phrases as well. Web pages, promoted mixed popular I don't know some of them might not make a lot of sense um, but anyway this is exactly how the software works very simple very straightforward guys and if you're working with your own URLs um, sorry if you work on the professional license then you can actually add your own URLs in there as well um, one area that I know many users will be looking to do is to actually pull up a report on their own websites now if you want to pull up a report on your own websites um, then the software actually compares websites um, together so as you can see um, it's going to say not phrases found if you enter the one website and the reason it's going to do that is because it's going checking that website it's got nothing else to check it or cross reference it with um, so what we're going to do in this case is enter our website twice um, so as you can see I've entered SociSynd and SociSynd and it's actually found me all of my keywords on here and I can see by here um, at a glance exactly what kind of signals and what kind of theme um, my website is actually um, revolving around so we've got social Google SociSynd signals media search sites visitors click bounce content rate builds website backlinks which is fantastic um, we've got two keyword phrases as well social media social signals bounce rate high authority um, search engine thousands unique Google search um, we've got three keyword phrases Google search click search engine rankings high authority social um, Google penguin panda high authority backlinks uh, we've got four ones as well, likes, shares, Twitter, retweets, Facebook likes, shares and Twitter, um, hits reduce your bounce rate, website hits reduce bounce rate. So as you can see, um, it actually provides you with a real good understanding of exactly what the website's about. Of course, this is if you want to find out exactly what kind of a theme websites are sending. Um, and say, for example, you had a competitor and you wanted to find out exactly what kind of keywords and theme um, they're actually um, optimized around um, then this is exactly the kind of features that you'll be using other than that guys if you want to be ranking for keywords no matter what keyword you want to rank for just enter your keyword in here pull up a report find out what your keyword themes are and make sure you include them into your in, inside of your content it's very simple guys if you have the professional version pass this over to your virtual assistants that perform the writing for you if you don't then all you need to do is filter through these whatever ones you want to keep whatever ones you don't want to keep um, and then obviously click on save send them over to your writers and build content that is destined for top Google rankings. So thank you very much, guys. If you need any support, we have a support forum, autobacklinkbomb.com forward slash forum. We have a user guide, and obviously we're fully um, approachable on our email as well, which is support at keywordgenetics.com. So thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed, I hope you enjoy working with the software.